guys, welcome to a new video. I am very excited for today's video because not only are we going to be playing The Sims 4, but we are also going to be getting very creative and a bit artsy, which are like my two favorite things. So thank you to EA for sponsoring today's video. We are actually going to be making my entry for a competition. And hopefully once you see how I do my entry, you might want to enter the competition as well. And I'm just gonna tell you guys all about it. The Sims 4 and Logitech have teamed up to inspire our community to get creative and translate the colors of a Sims 4 experience into real life. So the competition is, and what we're going to be doing today, is to create a color themed mood board that reflects who you are using screenshots from the Sims 4. The idea for this color themed mood board was inspired by Logitech's new color collection gear. So what I mean by that is, you know, how the Sims have emotions and their plum bobs change color. So Plum Bob may be pink for flirty or red for angry. Uh, your Logitech gear will reflect that color as well. So what's in the game will come into real life. Today, we're gonna be creating my entry for this competition. We're gonna be creating a color themed mood board that reflects me as a Sims 4 player. But first I wanna show you guys some of the Logitech new color collection gear. It's super cute. If you would like more information about the competition, I will link it in the description down below. And the prizes are the color collection range, which includes two headsets, two of these, a mouse, the beautiful keyboard, and the opportunity to join The Sims and Logitech to create Sims themed accessories for future Logitech headsets. All right, so here I have some of the Logitech color collection. This is the G915TKL keyboard, it's mechanical. Then I had three of the mouses set to me. So this is the G305, these are wireless. And then this is a GT03 wired mouse, which also lights up and shows all the colors. Last of all, this is the G733 headset in white. You can see the colors on the side here. What's also fun is it has a strap on it that you can actually change and personalize. Here's some other color options. So you can just switch that out, but I'm enjoying the purple today. So as we play The Sims, I'm gonna show you guys how these colors change. And once I show you that, then we'll get started on our mood board. I'm thinking of doing like a theme of Australiana, maybe the colors of Australia. Also, I love how this strap is kind of like a headband. <laughs> I'm a one ear on, one ear off kind of girl. Here we are at the Land Grabs Mansion house, big house. Just because they're an iconic Sims family from the base game, I thought we may as well look to see how they're doing. So Nancy over here, Nancy's just feeling fine. So you'll notice that my headset is just fine. Let's get Nancy to go over to these romantic aura plum bob lights. Oh, she's happy, she's happy. So what happens when they're happy? They go green. See, we got a little bit of green going on. Now the keyboard's green, plum bob, happy green. Now Nancy is feeling a little bit flirty. So the keyboard's gone pink, a nice pinky color there. My headset's also gone pink. And Jeffrey is playing a game. He's feeling pretty happy. My headset is green and my keyboard is also green. Oh my gosh, this is the most social family ever. <laughs> this is like James and I. Now Malcolm's being a little bit of a hot-headed teen right now. So let's get him to Gia Nancy, insult Nancy, argue about music. And Nancy's now getting angry. So what do you think's gonna happen? Keyboard is now red, you guys. And the headset is red as well. So yeah, that's basically how it works. So it's a little bit of fun, but my favorite bit is when you start The Sims 4 game up, it has a bit of a party. So when I go to the main menu, look at the keyboard, it's like party time and it's Sims green color. My headset's having a party too. It's like Sims party time. <laughs> okay, well now you guys know how it works. You're familiar with the potential prize. Let's get into making a mood board. I actually really love mood boards because I used to make a lot of them in high school because I took design, graphic design and art as my subjects. And then when I went to uni, not many people know this, but I have a degree in graphic 
design. So I would also make mood boards for my projects at uni. Okay, so I think my theme is gonna be Australiana. I'm Australian, I'm proud to be Australian. I love the colors of our environment and that's a part of who I am. So that's going to be my theme. So the colors I'm thinking of using are like blues from our beaches, as well as creamy yellowy white sands, rust reds from the Australian outback desert. I actually made a list earlier on, so you can write it down on paper as well before you go into the game. Eucalyptus green from some of the trees around here. And I also wrote down corrugated iron because that's kind of an iconic material in a lot of Australian homes on the roofs and on the walls. So that's the general idea of what we're doing. So here I have my sim self in Sulani because it is beachy and I feel like we can capture a couple of the colors I want to work with. The thing is with mood boards is you can be as abstract as you want to be. You know, you don't have to think too much about, oh, what screenshot do I need to take? I mean, you can obviously do that if you want to, or you can just take screenshots that make you feel a certain way. Like I love these different blues and greens that kind of fade into each other, like an ombre that is similar to the environment near where I live, the oceans and beaches. And I'm just going to get a collection of different colors. Like this is so pretty. Another thing that's quite iconic to the Australian culture is on the beaches, we have beach boxes. And I know a few other countries do this as well. So I might make like a little beach box to take a picture of sitting on the beach here. I mean, this one's pretty crazy because it's like on the water, literally. But yeah, for your mood board, you could build stuff that inspires you. Oh, this guy is like standing there. I'm sorry. Wait, is he in my house? Oh my God, he's still just chilling there. And in terms of how to construct your mood board, I'll put the details in the description down below, but I think it was either as a JPEG, PDF or PNG. But in saying that, I'm sure you can be as creative as you want to be. Like if you're not very good at using the computer, you could like create whatever you want to in The Sims 4, print it off and create an artful collage to then scan into a computer or take a picture of to then get printed. I mean, the sky's the limit and it's just all about having fun and expressing who you are. Uh, you could use an app on your phone to put them together, like a grid app or a grid making app. Um, you know, the sky's the limit. I'm going to make this beach buck stripey. Sometimes you'll find beach boxes that have like amazing murals painted on them. People might have like some camping chairs or a lounge. Maybe they'll even bring a barbecue down on the beach. Beach lounges are always a good one. I'm going to take a picture of my little build. That's a few colors in there. Another big part of Australia culture is the desert, the outback. I think I'm going to take my deli sim to maybe either Oasis Springs or maybe even Strangerville. Probably Strangerville <laughs> looks more like the Australian outback. Oh my gosh, these are so like Aussie looking. Except the mountains in the background don't really look Australian. This is a bit of an Aussie look and feel like rust reds. Another thing in Australia is just like the blazing sun. Like our sun is really hot. I feel like this can be another part of our board. Another idea is if you're not very confident with building, you could actually look on the gallery for something that you feel like represents you that someone else has done. So I might just search for Australia and see what comes up. Like this house by Ellie Blue seems very, um, I don't know, very like typical little Australian house. I'm going to give it a corrugated iron roof because that's something that I want to focus on. But also just look around the different worlds and maybe there's something that you feel like represents you in the game as well. Like not going to lie, this house kind of looks like a Victorian Australian home. Or like this car. I mean, I don't live in the desert, but I still feel like all these colors are very Australian. <laughs> And yeah, corrugated iron is a big one. Actually, what would probably be better is to use, I think it was from Strangerville, the corrugated iron wallpaper. Yeah, this. I feel like it's gonna be so brown and earthy. I'm literally gonna take a picture of this. Now, most of your photos or your screenshots need to be from the game, like 80% of them. But you can still have some other pictures 
not from the game to communicate your colored mood board as well. So for example, one thing that's not in the game is eucalyptus leaves, like that green eucalyptus color. So I'll probably add that color in myself. Although this car kind of is a eucalyptus color in all honesty. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is such an Australian moment. <laughs> you guys are gonna hate this. This is why no one wants to come to Australia. Okay, I think we have enough like desert imagery. Maybe we can get a sunset in Sulani. But you don't have to do environmental things. That's the other point I was gonna make. Like you might be a really amazing cook and you love baking things. So maybe you'd bake a whole heap of things in your game. Use the cupcake machine, use get to work bakery and just go to town and taking pictures of all the icing and cake decorations and your sim in the kitchen. Like you can do whatever you want. Or you might be into animals, you might be into cats, you can take lots of pictures of cats <laughs> and cat toys and bits of oh, knitting and craft. I'm just going to go for environmental because that's kind of my theme I want to go for. Okay, Sulani, sunset time, I mean beach towels. I'm not sure if those colors are quite right. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about my sim. <laughs> um, you know, sunsets. This is kind of Australian looking, maybe in Queensland. Seagull. Yeah, this is great. These are beautiful colors with the bird in it. Wildlife is a huge thing. I mean, I guess we did get the snake. Shadows on the ground, footprints in the sand. We do have rainforests and waterfalls in Australia in different places, depending on where you go. But one of my favorite places is in Queensland, which is very like tropical and warm and beachy. So this is also kind of representative of, oh, this is perfect, of one of my favorite places in Australia. Yeah, I'm gonna get some birds. Oh, jellyfish, there's so many jellyfish in Australia. I'm seriously gonna scare everyone from coming here on our jellyfish. Perfect. All the sea stars. Okay, I was gonna get another screenshot, but I feel like um, now that it's nighttime, <laughs> I'm probably out of opportunities. Oh, and fairy lights in the trees always reminds me of Noosa in Australia too. <gasps> And the moon. Moons are cool. The moon is everywhere. All right, you guys, let's have a look at what we have and start piecing together our mood board. All right, you guys, I'm going to be using Photoshop to create my mood board. And just to make it really clear, you don't have to use Photoshop. You don't have to keep it neat or structured. You know, you can do whatever you want. You can make it messy. You can make it look like a collage and like an Instagram app or something like that. I'm just going to kind of use this as a start. I don't even know if this is what I'm going to end up with. Okay, I'm just going to start by placing in some of the pictures we found. And one really good thing to do is crop your images to really focus on the kinds of colors that you think are important. I'm going to do that horrible thing that you guys were not looking forward to and put the snake in. <laughs> Ooh, our corrugated iron. Love this gonna tweak this a little bit. I'm just showing up here. Okay, make it look a little bit more rustic. Well, then we have the jellyfish. These would look really nice in like a smaller cropped square, I think. Something like this. Change these a little bit. Give us more of that greeny color and contrast. This is so much fun, you guys. I love doing this kind of thing. Yeah, it takes me back to school and uni. Our tree or beach boxes might look nice in this spot. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, I'm just using like an A3 sized document, but I don't believe that matters. Each boxes. You know, while I'm doing this, I'm just thinking how awesome it would be if The Sims ever did like an Australiana pack. I don't know if it would be much of a seller, but they would just be cool to see. Here's our starfishies from our reef, our scorching sun. There we go. It's like the sun and the moon, cute. Actually, I think we've got too many circles. Let's put something else here. I mean, I do like this seagull. We have so many seagulls here. I'm actually going to pull down this satur saturation a tad because I feel like a lot of the colors here are more muted and earthy and kind of weathered. Except for the beach boxes. The beach boxes can be pretty bright. And the ocean. And last of all, I feel like we need a big pot of yellow. Let's maybe get this setting sun. Okay, now we've kind of got the general look and feel of our mood board, the pictures that we like. You know, you could do a lot more than this if you wanted to. But I'm thinking of taking the key colors and putting them in a line below this. 
Okay, in this box, I'm just gonna add that eucalyptus color. So this is a picture of a like eucalyptus tree. And you know, these are not like super matchy matchy colors by any means, but I still think they kind of go together nicely. And the way you can kind of see that is by making a little color key. And I'm just gonna fill in these with some of the key colors from each of the pictures. Got the blue, the rust, some of these eucalyptus greeny blues in there. And this becomes our color mood board. So this is my entry, the Sims 4 and Logitech color collection mood board competition. What do you guys think? Lots of earthy Australiana colors here. Blues, red, rusts, yellow, a little bit of a sandy color, water blue green eucalyptus or green tree foliage, purple sunsets. And I also recommend you get a dark color in there to ground them all. So I've gone with like a spicy, rusty brown. Let me know what you think. All the details will be in the description down below. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and good luck. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Tack, tack.